nephews. Like, you there's got so my many blood children running through like, you so, and your daddy blood. How you gonna have with somebody else's child out here? So I'm supposed to be with somebody that I don't love so you could be happy. Uh, you damn right. You damn well, right. How does that work? It works just fine for me. Okay? So she wants to put me out of her house. Yes, you won't get the stepping if you don't get you a man come up in here so, and create me a baby. So then what am I supposed to do, Mom? You, you want me to out, out the house because of who I'm dating? Yes, yes, I do. And then what am I supposed yes, to do? For you me? do what you want to do when you out my house, but long as you in my house, you will to have a decent relationship. But the thing this is, come Mom, from the old school, baby. The old school. What I'm talking about is a man and a woman procreate and they have babies. Not a woman and a woman, okay? Y'all can't have babies together, don't you understand? But she is a better partner than I've ever had in my entire life. Not but I'm supposed to be with name. somebody that I don't want. But not by my She has name. treated me the best that I've ever had in my whole life, Mom. But you want me to go and settle and be with somebody that I don't love. Yeah, That's well, what you prefer. Guess what? You got to grow to love people, okay? You got to get okay. to know the person, okay. all right? You ain't even get no man no chance. All right. How are you supposed to love a man? You ain't even let a man in your life. You just saw this woman. This woman supposed to give you everything. No, ma'am. Not in this house. Not under my roof. No, ma'am. Try again. So can I ask you a question? No, how ask me. I'm going to tell you. Are you happy? I'm wonderfully happy. Me and your daddy been married for 23 years. It's, it's been good all 23 all years. All 23. We have our ups and downs, and you know that. Okay. But you here. You here. Okay. Ain't ya? Yes, you are. So I need you to do this. I need you to find you a decent husband, and I need you to bring him you up in my house. You can let that go, Mom, because I'm so not having I a husband. So I can have some children, some I'm not grandchildren. Man, I'm Shalom. I would like to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakradash. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you sister Akim pushing this word across the four corners of the world. And as you just saw from this previous video, an older so-called black woman and mother talking to her daughter, which was, of course, a younger Eve about marriage. But the younger Eve, she wanted to date or marry another woman, all in the name of love. And rightfully so, the mother was still in tune with those old school righteous principles, values and ethics about marriage. Like when the man gets with a woman, they procreate and then start a family, which is a righteous standard in the eyes of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, of the two opposite sexes getting together. And this further shows you through the spirit, pursuant to Jeremiah 17 and 4, how our people really have been discontinued from their heritage, meaning by being tied into their true coming wealth and culture as being the Israelites. AKA by being more connected unto the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And as you can see in this day of time, our people really have been westernized, deviating from that righteous standard of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and being more spiritually, ethically, and morally plugged into these perverse lifestyles and behaviors, AKA westernization. And that video is just a prime example of how arranged marriages would be way more beneficial compared to these modern women picking or choosing their own dating or marriage partner. And this is the book of Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. Like again, for example, arranged marriages where that has been historically prominent in many cultures for many ages because marriage is a spiritual, social, marital bond, of course, between the two opposite sexes. And it's a beautiful thing. But when you have these modern women with this perverted Western mindset, then you're going to see the outcome of what you just saw from the previous video of a younger woman not wanting to date or marry another man but would like to date or marry another woman. Or it will be more divorce rates, more baby mama or baby daddy drama. But if you go back to that old path, such as arranged marriages, it's many benefits and advantages to that. Like cultural similarities of the two partners, financial security between the two families. Then from that aspect, 
there will be stronger family connections between the two families. And at least following that practice, you'll be more closer to that generational wealth compared to being these modern, strong, independent women. And whereas they would become the matchmakers of horribly picking a man for their future children. And as you can see in this day of time, these modern women, and especially these American so-called black women, are terrible matchmakers when it comes to their options within the dating market. And that's because they're so misguided by their emotions by looking for love instead of looking into the long-term outcome of logic, reason, and understanding of picking the right partner. So that's why again it says right here, thus said the Lord Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths where is the good way and walk therein. So anything dealing with that Easternization, which goes into our way, our culture, our heritage as being the Israelites, will be more prominent, more beneficial, and more successful compared to this Western way of lifestyle. And you should find rest for your souls, but they said we will not walk therein. And that younger Eve from that video, as you just saw, she's one of the many Israelites with that mindset about not walking those old paths. And it's more so of a spiritual hidden meaning why the mass majority of our people are caught up into this low vibrational way of lifestyles and behaviors. First and foremost, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah have chosen those strong delusions for the mass majority of our people. And secondly, he has allowed our people to be subscribed unto the God of this world. And that's referring to the biblical Edomites. And that takes me right to Romans 1 and 25. Who changed the truth of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever among. And pursuant to 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter and the fourth verse, our people are blinded by the God of this world. Again, referring to the biblical Edomites, which are the so-called Caucasians in this day of time and more so the nobility of them who have created this perverted way of practice or lifestyle called westernization and intentionally change the mindsets of the people to have them to believe what is right and what is wrong. So who changed the truth of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah into a lie? And through Esau's Roman Catholicism and Christianity and all of these other wayward religions and philosophies, they have programmed the mass majority of the inhabitants of the earth to think same-sex couples are acceptable and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever or mine. Verse 26, for this cause, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah gave them up unto vile affections, which goes into these shameful desires or lusts. And that's how you know everything is spiritual, because at the end of the day, our people still have that righteous conscience, whether they try to hide it or not. Because within my day of time coming up, you had this thing called coming out the closet, which means when someone comes out to the public and declares their sexual preference. But hence the term coming out the closet, because inherently our people know it's not right according to the Most High. It's against nature. So for this cause, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And that takes me right to Genesis, the first chapter and the 27th verse. And the word Genesis means the beginning. So when the architect, referring to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, gave out the decree to his Allah Hayyum, referring to the top angel, Yahweh Shai, along with his divine rulers, the elect of the nation of Israel, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, designed everything according to his will, so therefore it will have a purpose on the earth. And this is Genesis 1 and 27. So the Allah Hayon created man in his own image. In the image of the Allah Hayon created he him. Male and female created he them. So these are the two opposite sexes, male and female. And once the Allah Hayon finished their task, including creating male and female, let's get verse 31. And the Allah Hayon saw everything that he had made and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. And once you go to the blue letter for this word good within the Hebrew, it's tawab. And as you click on the outline of biblical usage, it goes into good, pleasant, agreeable, pleasant, agreeable to the senses, 
pleasant to the higher nature, good, excellent of its kind. However, right here within Romans 1 and 26, it says, For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So therefore, it's not pleasant or agreeable to the higher nature when the same sex be involved with one another. And that's why the spirit was so heavy upon that mother at the beginning of this video to admonish her daughter how that is ethically and morally wrong and how she should look into getting a husband. Because again, our people have that righteous conscience. However, how they try to hide it or not, they know it's not right according to the eyes of the Most High. So it's against nature for a woman to lay down with another woman and for a man to lay down with another man. And that takes me to verse 27. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the women burnt in their lust one toward another. Men with men working that which is unseemly. And according to Revelation 11 chapter, it goes into about that city referring to America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, and also which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. But let's highlight the word Sodom, which goes into burning. Look how these people within America are burning in their sexual desires, lust, folly, just different sexual perversions. So burnt in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And that recompense goes into that divine payment or judgment from Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Because before that term AIDS, what we know in this day of time, Within the early 80s, it was called GRID, which is spelled G-R-I-D. And that means gay-related immune deficiency, which further shows you how the God of this world, referring to the nobility of Esau Edom, they know when these same-sex couples get together in a sexual manner, then diseases will follow. However, when you so-called come out the closet within this American society, and really throughout the whole world now, because America or Babylon the Great, has morally corrupted these other nations. And whereas they think it's okay or acceptable when you so-called come out the closet. And that also further shows you through the spirit to intentionally program the inhabitants of the earth with that reprobate mindset further shows you we have an unwise judge within rulership. And this is Ecclesiasticus 10 and 1. A wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. And a wise judge will instruct or educate his people or the inhabitants of the earth via the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Verse 2 As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Which is exactly why that younger Eve you saw at the beginning of this video, her mindset, lifestyle, and behavior is totally perverted due to this westernization. And that type of wicked lifestyle is like a domino effect upon two-thirds of our people. They think it's okay, or they have no problem with it. It's highly acceptable. Verse 3, An unwise king destroyed his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city should be inhabited. And pursuant to the book of Job, the joy of the hypocrite referring to Esau Edom is but for a moment, which is why the kingdom will be translated from one people to another, which is referring to Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, on down to his Allah Hayyum, who are his day ones from the beginning. When they created everything according to the purpose and will of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, the great architect, they stated it is good. Verse 4. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. So once Yahweh Shah come and take the kingdom, along with his day ones, this whole earth will be his highest advantage point in history. Because those old paths will be decreed, which are the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father Yahweh. And this perverted society, America, along with its thought processes, has to be wiped out, which includes two thirds of our people, the very ones who have that similar mindset as that younger Eve you saw at the beginning of this video, because this fashion of the world will be soon passed away. 
along with its perverted thought processes. So hopefully with that, you all was edified, you all stay strong, keep pushing forward. Shalom.